Today on the Home Winemaking Channel, I'm gonna show you how to build a budget-friendly temperature control system for your wine must. Behind me here, I've got uh, about 40, 45 gallons of Old Vine Zinfandel. It's already been crushed and destemmed. And what I'm doing now is something I've mentioned in the past, which is a cold soak. So I wanna get that wine down into the 40s Fahrenheit and I wanna keep it there for anywhere from say three to five days. Now, if you have a small batch of wine, you can always put it in a spare refrigerator if you have one or a chest fridge. Um, with a big batch like this, it's in a food grade barrel. It's just a little bit more difficult to do stuff like that. So you can do things like swap out one gallon frozen jugs of water. But again, it's a little bit of an annoyance. In this particular case, I was gonna be out of town so I didn't want to have to get a wine babysitter, so I had to come up with some other idea. So what I did here, and I'm really amazed at how well this is working, is I took a um, stainless steel wart chiller, and you want to use stainless steel here instead of copper because you're going to be dipping this into the wine, which is much more acidic than beer, and what it can do is break down that copper into copper sulfate, which is poisonous. So Make sure to grab a stainless steel wart chiller if you're gonna replicate this project. Um, I also got a little pump that I've used for transferring wine and if I'm dealing with larger batches, it's basically the kind of pump that you would use in an RV water system. On my RV water pump, I've got a um, fan controller. So if you wanna slow the speed of the pump, you, you can use a fan controller. You don't wanna use a dimmer because it can burn up the pump. You don't need it though. I mean, it's kind of not necessary, but I do find that I like to run the pump just a little bit slower than its top speed. It's just a little bit less vibration and we just don't need to be pumping three point some gallons per minute through this wart chiller. I'm okay with kind of slowly cooling it down. Um, I've got a roto molded cooler. These work really good for um, keeping ice cold compared to your older style coolers but it's not to say i mean any cooler is going to work okay for this project i've got a temperature controller which basically has a heating plug and a cooling plug that's run off of a little thermometer that i can dip in the wine i can set a temperature i can tell it how much to overshoot that temperature and from there it will kick on the pump um, so in my case i set it to kick on at 50 degrees and shut off at 48. So every time the temperature climbs back to 50, it kicks on until it reaches 48, it'll shut off again. And what that's pumping is some ice water in this cooler. So I've got a couple of the big bags, like the 20, 21 or 22 pound bags of ice. I filled this with about a third full of water before putting the ice in. And I also used some frozen two liter bottles to kind of pre-chill that water. And what I'm finding here is it's lasting like super long actually. So it's been about 60 hours and I've still got a ton of ice in here. And we've been able to hold this 450 pounds of grapes at 48 degrees without any trouble whatsoever. The lid of the cooler is gonna be cracked open so I can fit my tubes through. So to seal that, I just used a blanket. Um, I also, drilled a big hole through the cap of a mason jar and a series of smaller holes. And I stuck the, the inlet end of the tube in there so that it doesn't end up getting clogged with ice, which was a little bit of a concern that I had, but everything's been working out really, really good. What I'll do now to show you how this thing works, because right now it's sitting idle, waiting for the temperature to climb enough to kick on, is I'll pull the thermocouple out of the wine and you'll see this little pump kick on and start circulating that cold water to chill the wine back down. See here, I've just got a, um, a sheet over the wine. This is just to keep the fruit flies out. I threw a blanket of CO2 on here, which is helpful, but you're probably gonna be fine without it too. So we'll take it out. You can see it circulating, probably not really much to see on the camera. <laughs> so 
some advantages I think to this system compared to like the frozen jugs of ice is you've got a lot of control. Um, I can hold it at a temperature without kind of waiting till the ice jug thaws, putting another three or four in there and just kind of going back and forth. That's kind of a pain. The, the really big advantages are gonna be, I can now use this for fermentation. So I can put this wine in a warm area and actually let it ramp up to a temperature that I want and then use this cooling system to kinda make sure it doesn't overshoot that temperature if I need or if I want to. I can also use it to heat the must back up after the cold soak so I can run it through some really hot water, warm that must up really quick to get to that fermentation temperature. I'll put a link in the description to all of the specific stuff that I use here, the wart chiller, the pump, um, the cooler. And if you want to support the home winemaking channel and get some extra content that you won't see here on YouTube, swing by patreon.com slash make wine and make sure to check out my website, smartwinemaking.com. Thanks for watching.